Hello folks, today we're going to do a quick short video on the internals of the Microtech CRS317 switch. So I've, I've already removed the five screws that hold the top cover. They're located right here, 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 and one over there. And once you've got the screws removed, all you have to do is slide this panel off and there we have the internals of the 16 SFP plus port uh, switch. So let's take a closer look here. Here we can see the backside of those uh, 16 SFP plus ports. And in the middle is the central processor with a uh, heat sink and heat pipes that connect to the massive heat sink in the, in the rear here. And over here on the left, we see the power supply enclosure that has a, a honeycomb ventilation pattern in the aluminum frame here, and the two connectors to the board uh, to provide power. So Microtik uh, claims that this device will run silently up to 40 degrees Celsius. And once it reaches that threshold, the two fans here will kick in to draw air through the front and the side here through those holes and out the rear. Um, so the primary cooling mechanism, of course, is this large heat sink with the heat pipes uh, that carry the heat away from the central processor there. Um, just kind of initial impressions is that even if this thing uh, started heating up and you needed the fans to cool it, um, it probably would make more sense if there were actually some cooling fins on this unit here or if the fans were actually blowing through this heat, uh, this heat sink here. Um, in addition to that, since this, as you can see, this board is pretty bare, there's really not a lot of components to it. Um, having air flow over this area for example, really, I don't think would help much in, in uh, cooling the unit, uh, especially if the heat is primarily being generated from the central processor. So probably some, you know, uh, quick design improvements if one wanted to do anything to improve this, is perhaps put an air shroud around here to, to keep the airflow going over uh, where you want the cooling to happen. So, but anyway, um, you know, this is, again primarily meant to be cooled by this massive heat sink and the heat pipes so hopefully if uh, that works then these fans will never be activated and this thing will run completely silently which is exactly what I'm hoping for so anyway that's uh, that's it just a quick uh, look at the internals of this unit and um, get a feel for what's in it before I power it up and, and put it in my rack all right, bye-bye.